I'm gonna ask you to stop. Okay, will I be arrested? If, uh, I'm giving you an order, don't pass here. Okay. You know, fire cars. If I walk next to your, but it's not even your car, it's the state property's car. You're, you're, Correct? Everybody, you guys are like putting words in our mouth. We, are, we already told no, you. No, but on. the sense of ownership, where do you get it from? If you want to see some entitled cops who think that state property is theirs and theirs only, then this is the video for you. Welcome back to Audit the Law, where we point out some of the flaws in modern day policing. In this video, we're going to focus on a false sense of entitlement and ownership that these cops adopt. This video comes to you from two separate channels, Freedom Audit and Northwest Observer. Be sure to check out their channels and give them the credit that they deserve, and let's hop right into the video. All right, Northwest Observer here. You're outside of the Washington State Patrol office located here in Bellingham, Washington. We are going to take a walk around and see that they respect their rights to film in public. So, so far there's no signs that say that we can't be in here. We got a big old communications tower. Just doing our thing. Yeah. What's your guys' names and badge numbers? It's what we do. What's your name? Super Rincon, R I N C one. Thank you. And your name? Mendoza seven six three. Mark eleven nine eight. Thanks. Appreciate it guys. What do you guys think? You're looking at it. Yeah, you look for just the hell of it. Oh, we're just doing our thing, you know. Just walking around, taking a look at another night. Okay. What, what are you guys, guys doing? What's your guys' name? I don't. I didn't. We didn't. I didn't give it. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is private property from here. Or yeah, it's fine. Back where our cars are, it's private property. So if you want. Oh, it's not public. No, here it is, like I just said. Right so here. where's the line? You literally just showed. I just showed you right here. This this yeah. sidewalk here. From here. Is there signs back there saying private property? Yeah, right by our cars. You see, this false sense of entitlement and ownership is immediately apparent, not even a full minute into their interaction. They create these fake lines of private property in hopes to intimidate and scare off folks who are exercising their constitutional rights. But what's awesome about this video is that it doesn't work for these two cameramen. Keep watching to see who does the running away. Can you show me? No, back? because it's private, so you can't go back there. Okay. okay. How about over here? Is this private? You can go where those cars are, man. It's not it's not owned by the state. This is state property though, isn't it? I mean that yeah. fence is private. How is it half the state? Because half of it's DOT property and half is state. So is this private or public? This right here. Yeah. Right to that corner right there is public. Oh, you don't have signs? No. Aren't you supposed to have signs according to RCWs? RCW, yeah. Tell me which one it is. So where's the signs? I don't know, you guys know the law. You're the professional. But you guys are right here trying to cause the issues for no So reason. over this way, this is private now? This right here. Right here. So if I walk over here, what happens? Can will I be arrested? Stop. I'm going to ask you to stop. Okay, will I be arrested? If you, I'm giving you an order. Don't pass here. Okay, but I, what I want to know is if I walk a foot that way, will I be arrested? No, man, I'm telling you to buy our cars. Are you, you're not so I can't go buy your car? You're not understanding what I'm saying, no. Why not? Because I just told you that's private property right there. Well, your car goes down the street, then it's private property over there. If your car's over there, then? No, man. No. So how does that work? You're just not getting it. Okay? Well, please. We're not going to keep on arguing with you. Show I'm me gonna, the light. I'm going to tell you right here. All right? So this this our, here, this curb, if I walk this... Our cars are, are private. You so are you, trespass trespass are you trespassing me? If you go over there where our cars are, yes. You'll be trespassing me? Yes. For, the, for walking over there? For messing with our cars over there, yes. Messing with your cars? Messing with your cars, we're I'm talking about walking over there, not messing I, with anything. I, I just told you guys exactly what we're doing. Okay. okay. I've, I've been cordial with you guys. You guys are over here filming us for nothing. So Who's I'm your sorry. commanding officer? You want to? Who's your CO? Yeah, I want to. Yeah, can you call him, please? Call, call 911. We're not non calling, we're not using emergency. Non emergency no. dispatch. Yeah, but so, uh, anyhow, can you answer the question about who's your commanding officer? I don't know who's working right now. CO. You must have a CO. I don't have a CO. Okay, so let me get this straight just so we're both on the same page. 
if I walk over here, I'm trespassed? No, I told you to buy our cars. If I walk next to your, but it's not even your car, it's the state property's car. You're, Correct? You're, you guys are like putting words in our mouth. We, are, we already told no, you. No, but wrong. the sense of ownership, where do you get it from? It's a state issue. Did taxpayers pay for that car or did you buy it? Okay, so when did it become your car? DOT property. It's not private property, for one thing. We know it. You, you can piss down that back all you want, but at the end of the day, we know. Yeah, you are. Because we know what the law is. Okay, what's the law? Tell me. The law is it has to be properly posted according to the RCWs. Okay. That's the law of the land for the state of Washington. Okay, but you're the one that you're the one that says you knows it all. So we I don't say I know it all. Did I say that? You just did, man. No, I didn't. Never did. I said don't piss down my back and tell me it's raining. No, I'm not pissing down. I don't even know what that means. Well, tell figure you what, it out. Tell you what. Tell you what. Obviously, you guys are the experts, correct? I didn't say it was the experts. When you, why you so keep putting words, words in, in my mouth? mouth. Words in my mouth right? I didn't say that. I'm okay. saying you're hey, hey, you're pulling my leg. What's your first name? I'm not giving my name. Okay, well, We've been down that road. And we're going nowhere with this. So I know we're not going nowhere because you're. We're going to go back to our office. Go ahead. We'll go buy our cars. Okay, bye bye. Okay. And you know, it's not trespassing. So if we walk by your cars. You just told you not to. Okay, will you arrest me? Yeah. Restricted area, employees only. So stay with Okay. There. That's for the building. You're all mature. You, okay, well, so are you. Hey, you guys going to call that supervisor? They're just pulling the same old game. That's why they walked away. Do you like that one? So there you have it folks. This video isn't short of entitlement. In fact, this video has a lot to teach us. Look at the examples of cops planning going on. Freedom Audit and Northwest Observer also show us how to stand your ground against these grade A cops planners. You can tell these officers are full of something and it's not words being put in their mouth. In the end, their cops planning didn't work and they were forced to do the walk of shame after their failed intimidation tactic. Another obvious key nugget in this video that most people won't point out is the fact that this audit was conducted at night. Remember, transparency has no time window. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, go check out Freedom Audit and Northwest Observer and let them know I sent you over. Thank you for watching Audit the Law.